sonography of the diffusely abnormal liver. The sonographic liver patterns can be normal or centrilobular or fatty fibrotic. This is normal liver sonogram in which you can see the capsule of the liver here in the skin. And then we have subcutaneous. This is the capsule of liver, which is homogeneously hyperacute. It is not irregular. It is not having any focal black spots which are seen in chronic liver parenchymal disease. And here you can see it is homogeneously hyperacuic as compared to the kidney. The part of kidney is visible and as compared to the vessels, the hepatic vein and portal veins. It is hyperacuic as compared to the diaphragm and as compared to the capsule. Here is the right dome of the diaphragm up to here. So this is how a normal liver will look like. Here is the right lobe and left lobe of liver. This part will be the quadrant lobe. There are two normal patterns. One is called centrilobular pattern. It seems that there is starry sky appearance. It is also called coarse liver. So a coarse liver is having starry sky appearance and technically it is called centrilobular pattern. The liver appears a bit hypoequic and because of the background, because of the coarseness of the liver parenchyma, the vessels and bile ducts will be more prominent. So if you get more prominence of hepatic ducts, portal veins and hepatic veins in the liver parenchyma, look at the parenchyma, compare it with structures which are a bit hypoequic as compared to the liver in normal conditions, for instance, kidney. So we can compare it with the cortex of the kidney. Really, it is hyperacuic when it is normal. But if it is isoacuic or hypoacuic as compared to the cortex of the kidney, that will indicate that there is coarseness or there is some pathology in the parenchyma of the liver. That is technically called centrilocular pattern. Whereas the other pattern is fatty fibrotic pattern. Fatty fibrotic pattern means it is hyperacuic. Now, if it is fatty, it will be homogeneously hyperacuic. But if it is fibrotic, it will be hyperacuic, but its background will be coarse. So if you have a coarse background and you have some fibrosis in the liver, that will be fibrotic liver. So these are two different conditions. It can be fatty or fibrotic. An experienced eye can differentiate between both. A fatty will not be in its background if it is not having any chronic liver disease. It is obvious that if a patient is having chronic liver disease or coarse liver parenchyma and then covered by fat, the situation will be different. So we can get three scenarios in fatty fibrotic pattern of the liver parenchyma. 